My name's Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to cover hardware model life cycles in ServiceNow and how to create them. Before we go into the system, I want to explain what a hardware model lifecycle record is. Hardware model lifecycle records are records that contain a specific end of life date issued from a manufacturer. End of life dates are typically issued from manufacturers when their products are reaching or have reached their end of life and the manufacturer has decided that they'll no longer support these products anymore. The reason why manufacturers decide to stop supporting devices is because they'll typically release newer and more up-to-date products which in turn replace the older ones. When a manufacturer decides to no longer support a particular device, they usually publish dates for the following end-of-life events. General availability, end of sale, end of support, end of extended support, and end of life. Having this information available in your ServiceNow instance is crucial because it allows you to understand when a manufacturer will stop providing support to a specific hardware model and it'll give you a clear idea of when you'll want to start thinking about refreshing assets that are reaching their end of life. Please note, if you have the Ham Pro subscription enabled in your ServiceNow instance, then you won't need to manually create hardware model lifecycle dates for each of your hardware model records. Because the ServiceNow Hardware Asset Management Content Service will automatically create these records for you. Before we go into the system, let's take a quick look at an asset and review its end of life dates. Here on the screen we have a Dell PowerEdge R310 server, accompanied with its respective end of life dates issued from Dell. As you can see, we have dates issued for its end of sale, end of life, end of support and general availability. If you don't have Ham Pro and you're manually adding these dates to your hardware models in ServiceNow, obtaining this information can be quite simple. All you need to do is Google the manufacturer name, part number, followed by end of life dates. Searching Google with this type of query typically brings up end of life announcements from the hardware manufacturer. With that being said, not all manufacturers issue end-of-life dates and or publish them. Now that we've covered what hardware model lifecycle dates are, let's go into ServiceNow and add some on a hardware model record. In today's example, we'll be adding lifecycle dates to the Dell PowerEdge R310 server. The first thing you'll want to do is open up ServiceNow and in the application navigator, simply type in hardware models and click on the hardware models module located under the product catalog application. You'll now be taken to the hardware models list view. In the model number column header, type in R310 and hit enter. You'll now see that the Dell PowerEdge R310 server model record is displayed in the list view. Click on the model to open the record. To add lifecycle dates to this Dell server, Scroll down to the bottom of the form and you'll see a related list called Hardware Model Life Cycles. Please note, if this related list isn't available for you, simply enable the Hardware Model Life Cycle related list in the Related List configuration screen. To create a life cycle record from here, simply click on the New button. A blank Hardware Model Life Cycle form will now load. In the first field, Model, this is the model that you're creating this lifecycle record against. In this example, you can see that it's the Dell PowerEdge R310 server. This field is read-only because we're creating the lifecycle record directly from the hardware model. Next, we have the lifecycle type field. This field allows you to select whether the lifecycle date is an internally issued date or one issued from the manufacturer. Since we're using end-of-life dates issued from the manufacturer, we're going to select Publisher. In the next field, Lifecycle Phase, this field allows you to select and specify the type of lifecycle date you're creating. As you can see, you can select General Availability, End of Sale, End of Support, End of Extended Support, and End of Life. For this example, I'm going to select General Availability. Next, we have the source field. This field is read-only and displays either internal or service now. When creating lifecycle records manually, 
This field will always be set to internal, but when dates are added automatically via the ServiceNow Hardware Asset Management Content Service, this field will be set to ServiceNow. In the next field, Description, this field allows you to add any additional details. For demo purposes, I have no additional details to add, so I'm going to leave this field blank. Next, we have the Phase Start Date. This field is the date in which the lifecycle phase begins. In this example, I'm going to enter April 1st, 2010, since this is the general availability start date issued from Dell. In the next field, Phase End Date, this field allows you to specify the end date in which this particular lifecycle phase ends. For this hardware model, Dell doesn't issue end dates for their lifecycle dates, so I'm going to leave this field blank. Next, we have the Risk field. This field allows you to specify the risk that this particular lifecycle date has on the organization. For example, if you are entering an end of extended support date for a critical server in your network, then the risk of this lifecycle event will be high for you, because you depend on the support from the manufacturer when issues arise. For this particular example, I'm going to leave the risk as moderate. In the final field, Active, this checkbox field allows you to specify if the hardware model lifecycle date is active or not. Now that we've finished completing this form, click on the Submit button. As you can now see, the hardware model lifecycle date record has now been added. For demo purposes, I'm going to create the three remaining hardware model lifecycle dates that I received from Dell. As you can now see, we have four different lifecycle dates added to this Dell server. As mentioned previously, having this information in ServiceNow is extremely beneficial as all members of the IT organization will be able to report on these dates and plan asset refreshes around them if required. And that is all for this tutorial on hardware model lifecycles in ServiceNow. Mm -hmm.